special award ceremony for our Expressions program um, that we introduced this year. I'm going, I have a little cheat sheet here because there's a lot to remember tonight. Um, so I would like to start by introducing our Arts Council board, uh, the people who make this all happen. And uh, not all are here, but most. Um, I'd like to introduce to you um, Linda Hitzman and Sharon Roberts in the back. Uh, Karen Swanson right here. Uh, Kent Madsen. Lisa Marie Bath, who is also on our board, and Kathleen Larson, who could not attend this evening. So these are the people that um, make this all happen. I would like to also, um, before I, I'm going to introduce Linda to introduce the program, but before I do that, I would like to introduce those people who are our commentators for the evening. You will notice that these are our entries plus two music entries. We didn't have the quantity uh, response that we had hoped for, perhaps. There are plenty of seats, so please help please sit down and relax. We, but we certainly have the quality, as you will see, and as you look more closely and listen tonight. Um, so we did, rather than doing a judging of categories and first and seconds and all of that, we are awarding every, um, every student who entered um, a cash award, and if a student entered in multiple categories, they will get that award, uh, that amount, times the number of times they entered. And we felt that was very um, important and very fair. But we did want to have some sort of professional input to those of you students who entered. So we asked uh, a variety of professionals to give comment about your work. Okay? And you will get a copy of that com those comments tonight. And I think you'll find it very interesting and very, and very helpful. In fact, we are going to read them. They're not criticisms, they're just their comments. They're all very positive comments. And I'd like to introduce to you now the people who, uh, just preliminarily, the people who did that for us. Um, Ron Burdick, who is a professional musician and uh, was a director of the Mojave Unified School District, director of music for the Mojave School District for many, many years. I'll tell more about him uh, a little bit later. But he was our music person, professional. And um, our visual arts professionals could not be here tonight, unfortunately. They were Sylvina Day and uh, Joyce Betts. And their comments will be read and given to you. And for our photography portion, we are very um, honored to have William O'Dow, or Bill, as he's known, who, is, um, who did the commentary on the photography. And I'll introduce more about them um, as we get started. And I would also like at this point to introduce, and just please hold your applause at each participant stand as I read your name, um, Carter Baker, Rachel Harder, Stand, keep standing. Stay, stay standing, rather. Um, Nathaniel Baker, Preston Smith, uh, Samantha Grimes, Ethan Baker, <coughs> Jonathan Swanson, and I think that's it. A little, a little yeah, Um, so now, I would like to introduce, reintroduce Linda <coughs> Hitzman, who is going to talk to you about this program, uh, which she brought to the Arts Council. So Linda. This first year um, for our Expressions program. Um, Arts Council is always looking for ways to bring arts to kids and bring kids to art in all ways of music, dance, everything. So. Being a former teacher, I was familiar with a program that the PTA had for many, many years. Matter of fact, I look at my little cheat sheet here, it was, the, the, theirs is called the Reflections Program. You may or may not have heard of it as the kids going, yeah. And um, it's a national program. It's, it's large, very large. 
um, and they go from local to division to national. Um, and, but our schools don't have, here in, in Atchison, I would say, have PTOs. They don't have PTAs. And so this was not um, available for, for our kids. So it occurred to me that it's such a good program, and I, I did it all the time when I taught, that if we could tweak it a bit, make it fit our community, we could do the same kind of thing. And so that's what the Expressions program is. We retitled it, reworked it, um, made it work for, for us.